and welcome to another Wine Club Happy Hour with Cliff Family Winery. I'm Brian O'Brien, and I'm joined, as always, with our winemaker, Laura Barrett. Laura, thanks for being here again. Thank you. We are going to be tasting through the September Wine Club shipment today of the 2022 Oak Knoll Sauvignon Blanc, the 20... Wait, the 2022. Yeah. 2022 Oak Knoll Sauvignon Blanc, the 2021 Beachy Roan Blend, and then we have a new wine that we're going to tell you about shortly that we'll kind of finish up with. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a little white wine. Laura, tell us a little bit about this beautiful 2022 Oak Knoll Vineyard Sauvignon Blanc. Well, this wine comes from our new Valle de Soto vineyard in the Oak Knoll District. So we planted 80 acres uh, across 10 different varietals in 2018. Um, so we're just getting to know this vineyard. This is the second vintage of wine from this property. Uh, so 100% farmed organically, Napa Green, uh, and now as a business, we are B Corp certified. So we have a lot of sustainability uh, accolades to sure, talk about. Sure. Um, and this wine is a really great wine to start drinking in September. It's definitely something that I would call more of a winter white. Uh, it's designed and made to be uh, a little richer on the palate, it has a little bit more time in barrel and a little bit more oak influence. So unlike the Root Blanc, this Sauvignon Blanc spends um, a few more months in barrel and it's 100% oak with about 12% new oak. Um, so that gives it a little bit more texture on the mid palate. It gives it a little bit more of an oak influence aromatically um, and a little bit more richness. So definitely more of a fall and winter white um, and uh, kind of a, a nice wine to, to head into the holidays with. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, compared to our New Zealand style Sau Blanc, our Root Blanc, I, I get a little less uh, acidity on this one, which is to be expected. The other one is fermented only in stainless steel. This one has the oak influence, which tends to soften acidity a bit. Um, definitely got the aromatics there. It's a beautiful wine, and I think as far as Sauvignon Blanc goes, it is, to your point, a great winter Sauvignon Blanc, right? You know, you like that kind of vibrant acidity of like the New Zealand style and more the summertime, but then come the, the more winter cooler months, a little bit softer on the acidity, a little bit more oak influence. I think this is a fantastic wine. Um, we've mentioned this before, but I always like to point out the fact that we're doing no foil on this one as well. Yeah, you'll see that twice, uh, two out of the three wines this year. Um, and we're beginning to kind of move into that as a as a way of life for Cliff family and the reason behind that is um, for sustainability purposes I think when the, the less you can have on the bottle the more likely it is to be recycled sure um, so we find that uh, the foil can often interfere with the recycling pattern of the glass so in an effort to be more sustainable, we've opted to eliminate the foils in some certain circumstances. If you don't remove the foil completely, they won't recycle the bottle. So this is our way of kind of telling the world that and encouraging everyone to recycle whenever possible. So that is, again, that 2022 Oak Knoll Valle de Soto Sauvignon Blanc. Now, the second wine that we're going to get into is one of our Adventure Series wines we've been making for years. Uh, this is our 2021 Beachy Rhone Blend. Now, uh, you know, Rhone, a valley in France, famous for the blending of Grenache, Syrah, and Mavedra. Tell us about the blend of this 2021 Rhone Blend. So this is a wine that is sourced for us. We buy the grapes from outside growers. Uh, we do not have any Grenache nor Syrah planted at our new vineyard. Um, and so this has actually been pretty consistent over the last three or four years. Um, the Grenache comes from Yant Mill Vineyards in Yantville, and that is a certified organic vineyard. Uh, the Syrah component comes from Truchard, which is in Carneros. And I love that site because it is a very cool climate site for growing Grenache, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, my goal here is always for the wine to smell like Grenache, sorry, excuse me, smell like Syrah and taste like Grenache. So I want it to be lighter um, and a little more refreshing on the palate um, with not a huge amount of tannin. I want it to be kind of a medium weight wine so that it's drinkable and approachable or immediately upon release. But I want it to have that kind of meatiness and that cooler climate, Syrah, maybe a hint of black pepper um, aromatically. And I think we achieve that 
pretty successfully with this blend of these two vineyards. Um, and the 2021 vintage was an excellent year. I just finished bottling the Cabernets and um, I think everyone's really excited about the quality of 2021. Uh, so these these are kind of the, the, the first kind of entryway and release into that vintage for us at Cliff Family Winery. So some of the lighter reds. So I'm really excited to see how these wines evolve. Yeah, this one, uh, it's always been a particular favorite of mine, the Beachy. To me, it's it's probably top two, top three of our most food-friendly red wines, uh, just because of the versatility. It's such a you know kind of a, a medium body, not too bold, not too light wine that it's incredibly versatile with with regards to food pairings. Uh, I did get a little bit more pepper notes on this one than in previous vintages, uh, and for me, there's a little less acidity on this as well. Am I? Is that? What do you think? Well, um, the, the Syrah tends to be a pretty high pH wine, so there's not a lot of acid left in the grape when I harvest. Um, and so the Grenache, I try to harvest a little earlier in order to capture some natural grape acidity. Sure. And in, in warmer years, sometimes um, it's not as pronounced, and I think that's probably the case here. But you definitely get more ripeness and more uh, you know, riper flavors and aromatics. Uh, so it's often a trade-off, um, and that's just the, the beauty of winemaking. You have that vintage variation, and it's what makes it interesting. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Every I, I say every bottle of wine or every vintage really is a fingerprint of the weather of that particular year. And so it's just awesome to see the different vintages and what it does to the different grapes. Um, so again, that was our 2021 Rhone blend we call Beachy, which means bike in, in Italian if we didn't mention that. Okay. Let's get into the most exciting wine that we're going to talk about in this particular wine. This is a new wine of ours. This is our Valle de Soto Estate Zinfandel. It looks a little bit different uh, than our uh, Estate Zinfandel of old, and that's because we're bringing this Estate Zinfandel from Howell Mountain down to the bottom of the valley. Uh, tell us about this beautiful Estate Zinfandel. So this is the inaugural release of this wine um, coming from the new vineyard in the Oaknell district. Um, and it's a completely different site than the Zinfandel that we have been harvesting totally. up on the farm. Um, the Oaknell vineyard is proving to be so such ha to have such bright and beautiful acidity, mm. and I think you're really going to see that in this wine. And that's very different from what we can get kind of on the Pope Valley side of Howe Mountain, where it's a lot warmer um, and the nighttime temperatures are a lot warmer. So um, I, this is classic jammy Zinfandel. Um, I think that we're going to find this to be brighter in color and more depth of color because of the acid presence. Uh, the acid presence changes the color of sure. the wine. Um, and I think we're going to find it to be um, a lot richer and a lot uh, fresher. Um, and so really, really excited about this transition. Um, I have a lot to work with in the Zinfandel world. Uh, at our new vineyard, we have two different blocks and it can be harvested over multiple times. It's a lot of, a lot of fruit. Um, and really looking here to achieve varietal characteristic. I want this to really be very representative of the site and the varietal, um, but also have a, have a really nice balance. So um, you won't find it to be over extracted, though we do have really nice depth of color and concentration, but uh, Zinfandel being a larger berry and having more pulp and more juice to skin ratio, um, you'll find that uh, the wine tends to balance itself out with respect to tannin. Um, and I really love that about this bottling. I walked uh, the Valle de Soto vineyard with you last year, a little bit before we harvested, and the grapes that stood out to me as looking the healthiest and happiest were the Zinfandel grapes. And now that was 2022. Those weren't the exact grapes in this bottle, but those are happy grapes. They and are. so uh, I can see why you enjoy working with that particular vineyard and, and bringing those grapes in. A, this is a phenomenal bottle of wine, it really is. And, and you're right, the color is really beautiful and vibrant there. Uh, and and it's just a it's a beautiful wine. Um, now we have two different uh, two additional wines that are not included in the wine club shipment that we want to talk to you about, and those wines are on the end. Let's talk about the Reina Noriega Project wine first. So uh, we partnered with. Miami artist Raina Noriega who provided us the artwork of this incredible beautiful bottle of wine um, and it's a very limited bottle of wine but we wanted to tell you about it a little bit. Laura tell us a little bit about this Raina Noriega project wine. So this was a really exciting project for me uh, 
this was a really nice collaboration with Raina. Um, she painted this beautiful label for us and we have the Cliff family cog in the middle that's quite subtle but very powerful. Um, we wanted this to be a blend. So this is a red blend, 37% uh, Zinfandel, 36% Cabernet Sauvignon and 27% Petite Syrah. Beautiful. Um, and uh, Raina came out for the bottling of this and it was a beautiful experience. Um, she brings uh, culture, fashion, um, art, beauty, um, all to the wine business, which is was a really wonderful experience. Um, and I think this is going to be a really fun project moving forward where she has uh, a broad range of followers and friends and supporters um, that are going to really appreciate this wine. And then our friends and supporters and followers are going to appreciate the beauty of this bottle. It's an incredible bottle of wine. It's going to be a very collectible bottle. I was lucky enough to be there with you and Raina during the bottling and walking in the vineyard with this beautiful bottle of wine and what a magical day that was after that Raina came to the tasting room did a live painting demonstration so it was an incredible day we're very happy with the partnership so shout out Raina Noriega beautiful wine uh, very limited so if you are interested in it just reach out maybe there's some left for you okay the last wine that we want to mention today is another new wine of ours and this is a little bit of a different wine that we've ever really done before this is more of like a lunch style wine i think tell us about this new 2021 vino pranzo sure uh, this is a new label for us as well so um very different than our traditional cliff family bicycle cog and chain uh label um and uh kit and gary came to me um, kind of early in the year in 2021 and they wanted a low alcohol Cabernet. They had been drinking um, some some of these style wines in Europe and they really had an appreciation for being able to have a glass of wine or even share a bottle of wine over lunch and not feel like um, you know it had such a huge impact on sure, their day. <laughs> sure, we've all been there. Yeah, so um, it made sense for me to do this from the new vineyard in Valley de Soto. Uh, one of our younger Cabernet blocks that was uh, late to ripen um, and so it got a lot of hang time but it came in at fairly low sugar uh, therefore low alcohol because the alcohol is directly related to the initial sugar at harvest um, so this is 12 and a half percent alcohol it has only a tiny bit of new French oak the rest is neutral French oak um, and it's a very light very refreshing um, has a higher acidity than our normal Cabernet, but not not too much acid. Sure. It's not really about the acid. It's about the balance and the tannin and the light style. So I'd consider this a very, very lightweight uh, Cabernet. Um, going to pair beautifully with uh, lots of different styles of food. Um, I don't think because it's a lighter style and a lighter weight wine that it can't hold up to some of these richer meals, but I think it's also going to uh, be able to suit some lighter meals as well. I love that. A little bit lighter on the alcohol. It'll it makes your afternoon a little easier if you have a, a heavy lunch with a, a heavy red. I love it. I think it's phenomenal. New label. As you'll see, we're, we're kind of showcasing some new labels. Uh, and again, the uh, lack of foil on that one. It, we're, we're kind of moving in that direction. So that is the 2021 Vino Pranzo, our new wine. Again, limited production on this. So if you guys are interested in purchasing it, reach out to whoever it is you know or just hit me up and ask me how to buy some. I'm happy to help facilitate that. Well, again, this is the... 2023 September Wine Club shipment with Cliff Family Winery. Laura, thanks as always for doing this and uh, cheers. Cheers. We'll see you next time.